Are you worried about the NMN ban? If NMN ban prevents you from buying NMN or you cannot afford NMN, what's the best alternative? Here is effective alternative, why and how to take it. And it is a very popular molecule that has been talked about by David Sinclair in the longevity community. What are the main benefits of NAD? What is the main things that it, that it does? NAD has two levels that is being used in the body. The first level is simply to give us energy. Mm -hmm. um, and low dose niacin, for example, I know it's, it gives me energy. But the, uh, the above function of NAD, it feeds the enzymes that repair your DNA and also the sirtuins, the one that David Sinclair researched. They eat, they consume it. They basically eat it. I see. They move around. So um, by maintaining... NAD, it, NAD does. No, sirtuins... They eat it. But NAD feeds the sirtuins. Yes, yes. So the more NAD you have, the better your sirtuins will perform, the more energy they'll have. For, for sure, they, they won't be hungry and uh, they could... Um, especially as we get get older, they, they get more and more hungry and they don't function because... And sirtuins are basically the cleanup molecules. They silence aging genes and they, 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 colla they collapse, they protect the, they call it the, the integrity of your chromosome. So if you look at the young chromosome, you know, the DNA structure is kind of very yeah. tight in yeah. young people and adults, it begins to become Unra a shoelace. Unravel a little bit. All right. Yes. And um, the sirtuins, they, they keep it tight. They keep it tight. Uh, so it, it, it stays young. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, so, so related to the, so this is the NAD and some people NAD from what I understand is produced naturally in your body yes. and you need to put in stuff that is going to feed the NAD exactly so things that you've heard about NMN likely you've heard about and on and NR NAC right those are all the no, NAC is something else different yeah. but NR NMN and then that niacin and niacin so this is we talked about low do dose niacin Low dose niacin is just part of the B complex. I mean, that's a, what is it? B six niacin or B uh, B three B three B three. Oh, let me ask you this question: Is NMN going to just have much much stronger than than low dose niacin, or what's the difference between the two? Uh, there is big difference in a sense that we we know NMN works better on the on the nerves, for example, uh, things like that. So, so my wife she had a stroke, and I gave her NMN because of that. I want to boost uh, NAD in the in the neurons. And oh, and then will boost the NAD in the neurons. The niacin will. Yes. So but uh, it's uh, going to increase overall. We know that there is overall status of NAD in the body. You know, just you know, just one tissue. We need more studies about NMN. There there is a, a bunch of studies about niacin. It has been used for over a hundred years. The, there is a hundred years research on niacin, and uh, NMN that there is very few data. And, and I know that we don't think, uh, speak about budgets, but. Uh, if you don't have enough money to buy any man and you, you want to buy it, all those things nice cost nothing. Nothing I'm going to say here is a medical advice or recommendation. You know, there is a lot of controversy with niacin. Dr. Peter Atia and Brad Stanfield spoke against it. Dr. Berg a bit oversold it. The truth is somewhere in between. I spent about four years researching it, experimenting with it, testing it on myself and my clients, and I read everything published since 1950. It's quite a complex molecule to understand. It works on many mechanisms simultaneously. It causes reverse lipolysis, which is probably how it reduces triglycerides so aggressively. But it can also be used to detox your fat cells. And Dr. George Yu used exactly this mechanism to detox 9-11 firefighters. And besides NAD boosting and this reverse lipolysis, it's one of the few supplements, and possibly even if you include drugs in this list, they do three different things to your lipoproteins, the test that your family doctor should measure. First, niacin increases the HDL, the good cholesterol, quote unquote, by the way, by using three different mechanisms, some healthy for us, some benign. Second, it reduces ApoB. And third, reduces LP little a. The latter is a type of extremely dangerous cholesterol carrier and is very difficult to reduce even with drugs today. For example, statin, the cholesterol lowering drug, only reduces ApoB, not LP little a, and it doesn't even increase the good cholesterol. But remember, you don't want to overdo niacin, nor should you expect using it to treat life-threatening diseases. Our expectations with low-dose niacin is getting many benefits after five, six, seven years of usage when we're healthy. 
it won't reverse your plaque if you have one already. Yet, similar to resveratrol, the medical research continues to view niacin, high-dose niacin, like a drug. I guess when you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And the truth is, you don't want necessarily to use niacin as a drug, high doses for short term, to reverse already in-progress diseases. It won't be aggressive enough for a sick person. Not to mention that high-dose niacin would require you to use this chemically sustained release formulas that will cause liver damage. We're talking about non-sustained release nor slow release formulas. It doesn't make a lot of sense why to damage one of the most important organs in your body to treat blood test numbers. And yet somehow high-dose niacin with this negative impact, so it seems, won't reduce your life even if you use it this way. I don't recommend this way anyhow. And generally, you know, the medical system doesn't like niacin nor the attention it gets. I don't know why. Gling, gling, gling. Frankly, I don't trust niacin studies conducted by Big Pharma. You know, niacin plus statin doesn't confer more benefit than our multi-billion drug alone. Let's just stop talking about niacin and move on with our lives and research. The important thing about niacin is if you take it over a certain dosage, it actually you're gonna turn red. You're gonna turn red. Yeah, no, not only that, uh, you're actually gonna do some. Uh, you're gonna have a, a tiny inflammatory effect. Now, yeah. it may may be benign, but you know we don't want to activate inflammation and for no reason. Let's say some people take 500 milligrams and you get a massive amount of uh, inflammatory response. You actually beyond right. red, you actually feel you feel as if you have some reaction to something. Yep. Yeah, I've had it. And, and, and I'm not really sure, you know, about what we know about inflammation and aging. I, I want to f- be on the safe side and just take 50 milligrams uh, a, and divide it several uh, times uh, a day. Low dose. But that's but that's with very little side effect. You can trigger NAD production, yes. boost your yes. NAD levels. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. So that's the, that's the low dose nice. And this, is, this might be a safer way to do it than necessarily, you know, like I said, like I know people who do the IVs of the NAD. Why not just do this, right? Yeah. And you yeah. take a low you take a low dose niacin, right? Yes. yes. Let me ask you this question. So we have the benfold. Divided. Uh yeah, split it up. Got you, got you. So we have this we have the benfotamine, which is B you said it's B one, right? I get a lot yeah. confused. Uh, niacin is B three. Why not take a B complex? First of all, the benfotamine doesn't appear in any B complexes because a specific type of um, it, it doesn't the, the four specific type of B one. Yeah, yeah. And, and most of the B complexes, they, they don't have the, the, the niacin in the form of nicotinic acid. It has niacinamide or other forms that are not good for NAD. Okay. And you also want, we want you, you want to divide it. Uh, you want to use it. Uh, you know, Do you want to separate it out. Your pocket, maybe in, in your, you know, in your, in your uh, bag. And, you know, whenever you're, whenever I remember, I just take it. Gotcha. Got the low dose niacin. Yeah. Gotcha. These are quick overview of intermediate supplements for longevity that I've done together with Alex Necretin, the CEO of Ultiself. To get the Excel and the full course covering both beginners, intermediate and aggressive longevity supplements, and the three modules, longevity technologies, testing, and habits you can do now, go to wellnessmessiah.com forward slash course. It's wellnessmessiah.com forward slash course.